ancient monsters of the deep unveiling. Ocean's timeless secrets. The ocean, a vast and mysterious expanse that covers more than 70% of our planet. Down there, in the cold abyss, live creatures older than the dinosaurs, survivors of mass extinctions and witnesses to Earth's most dramatic transformations. Imagine a world untouched by the sun, a realm of perpetual twilight where the pressure could crush a tank. Welcome to Echoes of Time, where we uncover the mysteries of history, nature and the unknown. Ready to explore Earth's most ancient monsters? Let's get started. The Colacanth, a living fossil. Our first encounter takes us to the shores of South Africa, where in 1938, a fishing trawler hauled up a creature thought to have vanished with the dinosaurs. It was a coelacanth, a fish so ancient, so seemingly out of place in the modern world, that its discovery sent shockwaves through the scientific community. Imagine a creature with fins so robust, so limb-like, that they hint at a time when the ancestors of all land animals were just taking their first steps onto land. The coelacanth, with its blue enamel-like scales and extraordinary fins, is a living embodiment of that pivotal moment in evolutionary history. These aren't just fish, they are living fossils, remnants of a time when the Earth was a very different place. They lurk in underwater caves at depths of up to 2,300 feet, their movements slow, deliberate, almost prehistoric in their grace. Their eyes, large and black, seem to hold the secrets of millennia. Their gaze a window into a time long past. But the coelacanth is more than just a relic of a bygone era. It's a testament to the power of adaptation, a testament to the sheer tenacity of life itself. The coelacanth is a powerful reminder that the natural world is full of surprises, that there are still mysteries out there waiting to be uncovered and explored. The frilled shark, a serpent of the abyss. Now we descend further into the depths where sunlight struggles to penetrate, a realm of perpetual twilight and crushing pressure. This is a world where only the most resilient and adapted creatures can survive. Here in this alien world we encounter another denizen of the deep, a creature whose very appearance speaks of a time when the oceans were ruled by monsters, the frilled shark. Its presence is a haunting reminder of the ocean's ancient past. Imagine a creature emerging from the gloom, its body long and sinuous like that of an eel, but with a head that seems to belong to a creature from a nightmare. Its form is both mesmerizing and terrifying. Its jaws, lined with rows of needle-sharp teeth, can open wide, impossibly wide, to engulf prey almost as large as itself. This unique adaptation makes it a formidable predator in the deep sea. The frilled shark is a living fossil, its lineage stretching back some 80 million years to a time when the seas teemed with giant reptiles and ammonites the size of car tires. Its survival is a testament to its incredible adaptability. It has survived multiple mass extinction events, its simple yet effective body plan, a testament to the power of adaptation. This resilience has allowed it to thrive where many others have perished. The frilled shark is an ambush predator, lying in wait on the seabed, its body almost invisible against the dark sediment, its cold, reptilian eyes scanning the water for any sign of movement. It is a master of stealth and patience. And then, the strike. It's a blur of motion, too fast for the human eye to follow. The speed and precision of its attack are astonishing. The jaws, unhinging like those of a snake, shoot forward, impaling the unfortunate prey on those wickedly sharp teeth. This method ensures that escape is nearly impossible. The frilled shark is a creature of the deep, rarely encountered by humans. Its existence a reminder that there are still vast, unexplored regions of our planet. These regions hold secrets and wonders beyond our imagination. Its hunting strategy, honed over millions of years, is a marvel of adaptation. Each movement is calculated, each strike precise. The frilled shark is a creature that inspires both awe and terror. A living reminder of the power and the mystery of the deep ocean. It is a symbol of the untamed and the unknown lurking in the depths. The Chambered Nautilus, a masterpiece of ancient engineering. From the nightmarish frilled shark, we turn our attention now to a creature of exquisite beauty and remarkable resilience, the Chambered Nautilus. Imagine a shell, not just any shell, but a perfect spiral, 
a mathematical marvel that has captivated mathematicians, artists and naturalists for centuries. Its design is not only beautiful but also functional, providing the Nautilus with buoyancy and protection. This is the chambered Nautilus, a cephalopod mollusk that has been navigating the ocean depths for over 500 million years, a living fossil that predates the dinosaurs by a considerable margin. Its lineage is a testament to the enduring power of nature. Its shell, a marvel of biological engineering, is a testament to the power of natural selection, a perfect example of form following function. Each chamber of the shell is meticulously crafted to serve a specific purpose, but the chambered Nautilus is more than just a pretty shell. It's a living, breathing creature with a complex life. It's a master of buoyancy control that uses its shell's chambers, each one sealed and filled with gas or water, to regulate its depth. Moving effortlessly through the water column, this ability allows it to navigate different ocean layers with ease. Imagine this ancient mariner drifting through the dimly lit depths, its tentacles trailing behind it like living fishing lines, its large, intelligent eyes scanning the water for prey. It's a scene that has played out for millions of years. The chambered Nautilus's ability to survive for so long is a testament to its adaptability. It has evolved to thrive in a variety of conditions. It's a creature that can thrive in a variety of environments, from shallow reefs to the deep ocean, its diet as varied as its habitat. This versatility is key to its survival. It's a true survivor, a creature that has weathered countless environmental upheavals, from volcanic eruptions to asteroid impacts, and emerged seemingly unscathed on the other side. Its resilience is nothing short of extraordinary. The chambered Nautilus is a powerful reminder that life is resilient, that even in the face of unimaginable challenges, it finds a way, it stands as a symbol of endurance and the incredible adaptability of life on Earth. The goblin shark, a nightmare from the abyss, and so we descend to the deepest, darkest corners of the ocean, to a realm where the pressure is crushing, the water frigid, and the only light comes from the bioluminescence of the creatures that inhabit it. This is a world that remains largely unexplored, a mysterious frontier that continues to captivate scientists and explorers alike. Here, in this alien world, we encounter our final ancient monster, the goblin shark, a creature that seems to have stepped out of a prehistoric nightmare. Imagine a creature emerging from the gloom, its skin almost translucent, its eyes small and black, set far apart on a head dominated by a long, flattened snout that gives it a distinctly otherworldly appearance. It's a sight that would send shivers down anyone's spine, but it's the goblin shark's jaws that truly set it apart, jaws that can extend outwards with startling speed and ferocity, revealing rows of sharp, fang-like teeth. This unique adaptation makes it a formidable predator in the deep-sea environment. The goblin shark is a creature of nightmares, its grotesque appearance a reflection of its deep-sea environment, a place where survival demands extreme adaptations. Its bizarre features are perfectly suited for the harsh conditions of the ocean's depth. It's a living fossil, its lineage stretching back some 125 million years to a time when the oceans were ruled by giant marine reptiles. This ancient heritage makes the goblin shark a fascinating subject of study for paleontologists and marine biologists. The goblin shark's snout is covered in ampullae of Lorenzini, specialized organs that allow it to detect the faintest electrical fields produced by its prey. This remarkable sensory adaptation gives it an edge in the pitch black depths. Imagine the goblin shark lying in wait, buried in the soft sediment of the ocean floor, its body perfectly camouflaged, its only visible feature that long, grotesque snout. It's a master of stealth and surprise. An unsuspecting fish swims by, unaware of the danger lurking beneath the surface, and then the strike. The goblin shark's hunting technique is both efficient and terrifying. It's a blur of motion, too fast for the human eye to follow. The goblin shark's speed and precision are unmatched in its dark underwater realm. The goblin shark's jaws shoot forward, propelled by ligaments and cartilage, extending outwards like a slingshot snapping shut on the unfortunate prey. This rapid extension is a marvel of evolutionary engineering. The goblin shark is a creature of extremes, a testament to the fact that life finds a way even in the most hostile environments. Its existence challenges our understanding of adaptability and resilience. It's a creature that challenges our very definition of what it means to be alive. 
a reminder that the natural world is full of surprises and that there are still wonders out there waiting to be discovered. The goblin shark is a living testament to the mysteries that lie beneath the waves. From the Kelacanth's living legacy to the goblin shark's nightmarish jaws, these creatures are living relics of Earth's ancient past. They've endured for millions of years, surviving in the planet's most hostile environments. If you enjoyed this journey into the deep, don't forget to like, share and subscribe to Echoes of Time. The ocean's depths are full of untold stories. Let's uncover them together.